Hey guys, it's Ty Bella and I have Louis Vuitton. So it's an unboxing, but kind of not like an unboxing because I already used this thing. Okay. So it's the monogram key pouch or key key clay, whichever way you want to call it. It doesn't matter to me. So, I had this for a year. I'm showing you. Um, the glazing is still intact. The finish. It's a This one is a matte gold finish. This is a glossy gold finish. The, the keychain. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see Mine says made in Paris, so basically mine was made in the U.S. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. Now, I may see a little bit in the bottom. You can see through a little bit in the bottom, but not as much. And it's 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 holding up well, because a lot of people saying that the ones that they had made in the USA, they really don't like them. They dislike them, because you can see they hand right through the bottom. Um... I purchased these key pouches a few times and I had to send a few of them back because I can literally see my hand through the bottom of the key pouch. So I was not satisfied with that. But this one is, is doing well and I don't have that type of issue. I don't have any issues like that. Um, It's it's a good key pouch. You put your keys here. You hook your keys in here. Um, I stuck multiple, you can stick, you can hold up multiple, multiple, multiple cards here. It's, it's, it's ridiculous how much cards you can put in here, but you can fit. You can also fit, fit cash. The only thing I hate when you put cash and you move, you just close it and you're moving around. Now the cash moves forward towards the zipper part. And when you open, you rip your $20 bill or your $100 bill or your $10 bill or your $5 bill. So now your money's ripped and, you, and you're like... Oh my god, my money's ripped. So I suggest for people to maybe put their cash money somewhere else, or you fold your money up really, 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 really small, shove it all the way on down to the bottom, and be careful how you close it because you I'm telling you, you don't want to rip your money because that's gonna happen because it happened to me a few times. Now Here's how you open it. Push it towards you and upwards. Close. So you pull it. Excuse me. Pull it upwards. Because this thing's giving me a hard time. I'm like, oh god, how you open this? Now you can put your keys in. Now if you don't want to put your keys in, you don't want to tarnish the metal go part. You can just put your keys directly right in here. You could just put it right directly in here. Honestly, I don't put my keys here because I, I like this, this gold, so I'm not, I don't want to mess it up. But it's really, it's really good. It's the key pouch, key clay, whichever way you want to call it. I think it's a good investment. If you're, if you guys was interested into this and you really want to buy this, I'm telling you, and you sh you should buy it now. Um, the prices continue going up. At the time, it was like 205 from 205, I think it went to 210 or 215, and then 220, and then all of a sudden, it just jacked up the price to $270. $270, guys. If you keep hesitating on getting this item, and maybe in a year from now, this thing might be up to $300, and I'd be damned if I paid $300 for this little thing that it used to be to a wife, you know but that that's just louis Vuitton. that's how they, that's how they are i remember me buying a speedy back in 07 my speedy 30 was only 675 dollars yeah 675 dollars that was so long ago the speedies now it's nowhere near that price so i suggest guys go out and buy it Treat yourself, love yourself, stay tuned, Ty Bella. Thank you.